Alright guys, today I've got this uh, cool little app review here. It's going to be on this application right here. It's called App Lock. And I'm going to go through it. I've already installed it right here from Google Play. So let's go back to my home screen and you guys can see it right there on the bottom left. So we're going to launch the application. I'm going to try to go through it and talk about basically what it does and how it works. Um, so it says right here to put in a password. So that's the first step we got to do. Now I don't have any password on my device right now, it's just you know a normal unlock screen. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a password. Just something really simple, push OK. And then re-enter the same password again. And you can pick whatever password you want. Um, security email, go ahead and put in an email on here so that if you do get locked out for some reason, they can send it to your email and uh, get you unlocked again. So we're going to put in something. Oh, there we go almost there it is and that is my password you guys can contact me on if if you like uh, so here you go this talks about some of the features in here and some of the fixes it's like their change log basically so hit OK and now we're into the system and what is really cool about this is that basically you cannot add a lock individual apps so you maybe you don't have a lock on your phone but for example Maybe you have a banking app, or for my applications, maybe I have a root application like Hyperdrive Tweaks and Hyperdrive Hub that are part of my custom ROM, or for example, SuperUser, and you want them to lock those applications when you launch them um, so that your kids can't play with them, or maybe you have a banking app you don't want somebody to get into you can lock those specific applications and I kind of go from there here's another root application I maybe here's my ripple wallet that's a banking kind of application I'm gonna go ahead and lock that up um, so I think you guys are getting basically the the point of it whatever however you want to add lock them so you can see all those options now up here in the top we do have some other stuff in here you have photo vault video vault themes Covers, profiles, time lock, location lock, switch lock, backgrounds. I mean, there is a lot of settings in here. Something you may want to do is go into settings here. And so pattern locks, the different things you guys can set up through here. Here we go. There's some more settings. Somewhere in here, if I can find it, is oh, right here. Advanced protection. Um, you want to turn that on because otherwise they could somebody could just come in and uninstall so we go ahead and install this. It keeps everybody from uninstalling the application because if it did, then they could get into all those other apps again. Um, so a little bit more advanced. So we're going to go activate and activate. And there you go. You have advanced protection. And now the app lock application cannot be uninstalled without that same password. So that's a nice little quick little thing. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and go through some of these settings now that you've got your device set up. Um, there's a lot in here, so it's going to be interesting going through it. But let me just go ahead and show it to you. Um, obviously App Lock is the top, which are these settings you've seen. You can go to Photo Vault, which is really cool. I've added a couple of pictures. You can come down here and click like right here. And I'll add a couple more here. So we'll go to Screenshots. And here's this one of these dumb bags here. Go like that, hit the lock button, say OK. And now it is out of your done. Let's go to the vault. OK. It's out of your normal gallery. And it's in this gallery. And your normal gallery, it's got removed from. And you can only view it by going into App Lock application. So pretty cool. Video Vault is exactly the same, works exactly the same way. Here's some screen recordings. Here's some stuff I did in my personal camera. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. Uh, those two vaults there, if you want to hide, protect some of your photos or in videos, is pretty nice. You do have themes here, and if you pick a theme, like I'm going to pick this one really quick. This changes your lock pattern, and this goes ahead and that's for sharing it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and download it, 
brings you to the app store it says install continue and it should install and there you go go back out up oh, there it is too far hang on there's app lock and installed and I'm going to apply this theme there we go and we're applied so pretty cool and that and that's going to work there you got covers here and some different things choose those if you want to go through them you have profiles you can create a new profile and so whenever you select this profile it's going to do you know turn off your email for example and hit save and it'll lock these out you can call this one email there you go done okay and now you have a profile that locks out your email if you want to set that profile so it's it's pretty cool um let's see what else we got here time lock and same thing you can set this so at a certain time it locks out those things and you can set that kind of like the profile also go back and then you have a location lock another deal where if you go on to a certain like Wi-Fi network or if you're on yeah there's a Wi-Fi network basically if you're on a Wi-Fi network at a certain place your work or wherever it'll set up different locks for you on your applications um, switch lock this basically locks uh, like Wi-Fi if you hit that it's going to lock it in the position that it's on and you can't turn off Wi-Fi until you unlock it in here um, and you get your idea on those things uh, backgrounds a couple of things you can do for backgrounds you can add them probably be pictures probably and stuff like that random uh, key generator this thing's really cool you turn this thing on and now you know if you're one two three four is right there it's not anymore it's gonna look different so um, that's uh, just kind of a neat little neat little thing you can do and uh, hide app lock so what this does is if you enable it the app lock icon is not going to be on your screen anymore it's just another security measure so people don't see it and say oh how do I get in there that's how that's why I can't do anything so if you turn this on, you can then access AppLock to get it to launch from a URL or by dialing this sequence right here in your phone, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. So extra security right there. And then uh, obviously settings, you know, some password stuff, turn on your advanced stuff here, setting up a security question and answer. You forget your password and then about about the developer and uh, his information on here so there you go that's uh, everything you should have in uh, settings pretty sweet show you if I can get back to it app lock is to shut down these applications from being accessed without it or you don't want your kids downloading something from the Play Store there you go you can go ahead and lock that out so let me just go back into here and show you some of these as I've done and so I did that uh, right here hyperdrive tweaks and now I got to put that password in and now I get access to it so I think you guys are getting the, the principle here is my super user application here we go again it's gonna ask for a password and now I'm into my super user application so and then a normal application what would be a, just a plain normal one like a file browser or something you know just loads normally but anything you turn on app lock on with will go ahead and lock it out and app lock is actually locked out the same way so uh, and the reason that is obviously so then we can come in here and change the settings and then just unlock them so pretty pretty sweet thing is full of features I'm gonna be playing with it for a while learn a little bit more about it um, but so far I really like it hope you guys like this review as always root junkie out